Yo, you guys, this is Blacklist of the Abyss, and you're watching my review for Bleach, Chapter 564. And um, the way this chapter begins is with Mas the Masculine. He's talking, and one of the things he says is that he and James are one. And as long as he's alive, James will keep reviving. So, in a sense, I was right about James being a Stern Ritter. Kind of. I'll, I'll take credit for that. Even though I wasn't 100% right, I'll still say I was. So that's cool. But that, but the fact that they are one also means that James isn't really a fan. Mask is pr masculine mask is pretty much cheering for himself. I think I think that's kind of cheating. <laughs> but whatever. That would be like Naruto creating a clone and then having the clone cheer for him. I mean, that, that's kind of cheating. Well, well, whatever. It's that's really not a big deal at all because Mask gets killed in this chapter anyway. Um, oh well. Before that, we get this flashback of Renji talking with Osho, and um, one of the things we learn about Osho is that he came up with the name Zanpakuto, Shikai, Bankai, and pretty much everything else in Soul Society. And he's also the, and he also knows the names of every Zanpakuto that has ever been created. So that's that's actually pretty legit. I don't remember if he said he gave them their names, or each one an individual name, or if he just knows their names. But the point is, he knows all their names <laughs> at the very least. Um, yeah, uh, the thing he wants to talk to Renji about is that apparently Renji didn't know the real name of Zabimaru's Bankai. Apparently, Zabimaru didn't trust him enough to give him his full, um, his full Bankai name. Which uh, I actually like that part a lot because you mean freaking Chica, right? All right. You mean Chica's been calling his Zanpakuto a different name since the very time he was introduced. And he and his Zanpakuto has different abilities depending on what name he gives it. So you would think to yourself, oh, well if you could give your sword different abilities by calling it a different name, why wouldn't you call your Zanpakuto a million different names to get a million different powers? Uh, that I've always wondered why no one did that. Alright, call him Zabimaru, call him Toby, Rama, call him... I don't even know, just call him whatever. Call him as many different freaking names as you can and get as many powers as you can. Like, I thought <laughs> it took long enough for someone else to finally do that, though I guess no one knows that. Uh, Yumi Chika's. Some, no one knows what his real Zamato looks like, except for like, us and the select few people, some of which are dead. <laughs> so, most of them. Oh, are all of them dead now? I don't even remember. No, who cares? It, it's Yumi Chika. Why would I remember stuff about Yumi Chika? Uh, except for the stuff I just said. <laughs> uh, yeah, the point is that um, uh, Renji ends up calling Zabimaru by a bunch of different freaking names, and he gets and it changes form every single time. And doing that, he just beats him mask to mask. He incinerates him pretty much. He's like, like the, his middle half is freaking gone. His face is falling apart. He's incinerated, burned, turned to dust pretty much. Not as much. As it would have, as uh, Yamamoto would have done, but he, he, still pretty impressive for Renji. You know, it's Renji. Renji actually looked cool, so this is the first time I've actually cared about Renji a little bit since probably the Soul Society arc, to be honest. Yeah, it might it might have been that long since I've cared about Renji. Yeah. Yeah, it's I finally care about him. Um, and oh, you know what? That's actually it for the chapter. Um, I'll give it an, an 8.5 out of 10 because I mean it was a quick chapter as usual, but uh, not much really happened. It was the flashback and then Renji beating Masculine Mask, threw him around a couple times, and then boom, he was done. Uh, but I but the scenes that the fight scenes we got were good, and I really liked the flashback and the idea of finally bringing the whole Yumi Chica cheat code, like actually acknowledging and having someone else using it too. It's about freaking time someone did that. All right, so yeah, uh, I'll give the chapter an 8.5 out of 10. But uh, yeah, that's it, you guys. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.